Good afternoon, everyone. Are you all asleep? <laughs> it's so gloriously beautiful outside. But we are here today. We made a choice to be here today. And I just want to honor you for being able to stand here in this crossroad. And for those who are the keeper of the crossroads, who have done all of this work for us to convene here together. And I just want to invite us to plant ourselves. Some of you may be wondering what libation ceremony is. So before we begin that, let's just get comfortable in the place that we're touching something, whether that be your seat or the floor, or the wall. Well, I guess you're not really standing on the wall, but at least the floor to take a breath with each other, with one another and together. And that as you take this next breath, you visualize yourself and the roots of your body going down through this carpet and through this concrete, through this wood, this dock, to the water that is beneath us and to the side of us, the water that we plant ourselves here and that we release all of the distractions or craziness of startup and whatnot, that we release it into the water today. And on our inhale, that we take in the beauty and the nourishment of the water, that we take it in so that we be able to be buoyant over these next four days, that we be able to be full and free and open to meet and be with presently all these different kinds of people and ideas, thoughts, projects, dreams, and whatnot, that we be fluid. That's the thing about water. It gets in all the crevices and cracks. It gets everywhere. It's, just, it's everywhere. And that we be able to be fluid in our acceptance and understanding of one another. This planet, indeed, made up of this element that everything on this planet actually needs to engage this element to survive, that this body that we use to manifest expression is made of this element, and that just if you, as you've taken in the water and the roots of your body, of your creative body, you've done this before, that we all breathe through this element, we're fed and nurtured in this element in the wombs of our mothers. This is not new. So I invite you to be with the idea and the reality that what we have in common is the ability to transmit through this element. So I'm going to pour libation, meaning I'm going to pour liquid from one vessel to another vessel. This liquid could be poured into a bowl, could be poured onto the ground, I'm going to pour it into the plant here because it's looking a little peaked, a little thirsty. And this is a tradition, the tradition that I'm, I'm going to participate in with you all today. West African tradition also came across the water with African people, came across the water. It has all over the world, and you've seen this before. The thing about it is that it's a participatory kind of exercise and I actually can't move forward until you agree. So I'm going to make a couple of statements. I'm going to make three statements, in fact. And then I'm going to ask you to agree with me with your word. So one of the words that we use is ashe. Loosely translated is make it so, for the Trekkies. Or <laughs> I happen to be one. <laughs> or so it is. Or just yes, I agree. And so the idea of pouring something, it could be liquor, it could be ghee, I happen to be pouring water, is that we activate the cycle and the circle of life. Are you all ready? Okay, great. So I'm going to start by pouring a little bit out for those who have come before us. For our mothers and fathers and parents, loved ones, friends, our mentors, who walked this path for us and made space for us, wiped our tears, made us a bowl of soup, took care of us, 
gave us our first job, told us we could do it. Those people who came before us, we're going to pour a little bit out for them. Ashe? And then I'm going to pour a little bit out for us. Here we are in this present, in this body, in this space, in this windy tent. <laughs> but we're, we're, we're grounded, right? Well, not grounded, but we're definitely rooted in the water, right? So we can hold on. We're going to pour a little bit out for those who are doing the work right now. Here we are as angels. Here we are maybe as our first time exploring impact investing. Here we are grinding on our startup. Maybe we're here, you know, looking ready to pitch, ready to stand and deliver. Yeah, and for all those people who made a space for you to be here, who couldn't be here, your staff, your interns, all of that, we pour a little bit out for them, Ashe. And then there's this last bit. It's actually quite a lot. We're gonna pour this last part of the liquid of the water for those who are coming, for those babies, those dreams, those ideas, yeah, those plans, and the risk. We pour a little bit out for that as we hold those ideas in each other in our physical, spiritual, professional, idealistic bodies, that they are coming, and that as we consider what our work is, meaning, is it meaningful? One of the questions to consider is, is it mindful? Is it mindful? We pour a little water out for them. Shay? And then there's a little bit left. And we leave the little bit in case someone comes to visit. It's very rude for someone to come to your home, and we are home, and to not, at the very least, offer them a drink of water. Right? So we leave a little bit out for the next space. And I ask you to continue to contemplate throughout these next days together, whether you're here in the space physically or not, is it meaningful? Is it mindful? What is my ancestral legacy? Will they remember my name and call it with reverence? Because I did this work. Why do you do this work? Thank you for your attention. Thank you.